Is there a lost continent in the Indian Ocean that is home to galactic star beings? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm Lucy Blihar. And I'm Sam Blihar. And, and this, this is, is Conspiracy, Conspiracy Central. Central. Lemurians were extraterrestrial star beings who were the first to set foot onto Earth and created a paradise called Lemuria, which is now a sunken continent between Africa and India. They were known to be the most advanced civilization that ever existed and they all vibrated in the fifth dimension. Why do we care about it? Lemuria is hypothesized to have been the cradle of humanity, like the very first human civilization. Oh. The original name for it, the spiritual name, was Mu or Mu and that translates to Mu. Mother Earth. So this starts with a man named Philip Sclater. Philip Sclater found lemur fossils in Madagascar and in India, but they were entirely missing from Africa and the Middle East, mm. which means there must have been a continent connecting Africa and India that is now no longer there. So he proposed that during one point in the past, India and Madagascar slash Africa were connected by land. So another scientist and genealogist, Ernst Haeckel, studied this same thing and all the flora and fauna, and he drew a hypothetical map of Lemuria, hmm. which he also referred to as paradise. And it's right here, so it would have connected the east coast of Africa to Southeast Asia. And he even drew the travel routes and migration routes of all beings of life that would have passed through that area. His theory was accepted by the scientific community because it helped explain early human migration routes. So he called the map Paradise and he said that Lemuria was a land bridge that connected East Africa all the way to the Philippines. Later, a Russian occultist and psychic named Helena Blavatsky Mm. came on the scene. She was very famous in the 19th century. She was renowned for her psychic abilities. So in 1888, she published a book called The Secret Doctrine, where she proposes that Lemuria was the cradle of the seven races of humanity. Wow. And that millions of years ago, an ancient humanoid race coexisted with the dinosaurs. She describes them, the Lemurians, as having four legs and arms, and they were egg-laying hermaphrodites, which interestingly draws parallels to ancient Hindu religion and stories of Hindu deities. If you've seen like Hindu art and scriptures, you'll see yeah. that a lot of these gods had multiple legs and arms. Yeah. Some of them were monkeys, some of them were elephants. There's a Hindi tale about Lord Rama. Lord Rama and his humanoid monkey army. They built a massive land bridge between India and Sri Lanka to rescue Lord Rama's wife. So no one believed the theories that this Hindu tale could have possibly been real until NASA revealed photos showing proof of a submerged massive land bridge sunken in the Indian Ocean. Just like a stretch, of, a strip of land. Mm -hmm. And so people built this. Yep, it literally looks like a bridge. So a man named Dr. Badri Narayanan, who is a head of the geological team in all of India, conducted research on this land bridge and his team took samples from it and they found 7,000 year old layers of consistent sandstone proving that this bridge was man-made. So this could prove that this Hindu tale is real. Because Lemurians had supernatural powers, they were star beings, they could teleport, they could, essentially they had all the powers of the universe, somehow influence the monkeys to be able to build this bridge. Because the Homo erectus wouldn't have had the intelligence to do this, but they would right. have had the strength. So Lord Rama was a Lemurian. That's one of the theories. Okay. According to researchers, the Lemurian continent was separated from the mainland during the Mesozoic era because of rising waters. This could be the flood that literally every religion um, refers to in their texts. I think there's gonna be another one. I don't wanna talk about it. Okay. In 2013, scientists were researching on the tropical island of Mauritius, and they discovered zircon and granite dating back three billion years. Oh my gosh. Connected to a much older landmass that had sunken into the Indian Ocean. So there's too much lining up here to deny that this lost continent actually existed, especially the fact that the land bridge is legitimately there underground and NASA has photos of it. How far under the ocean is it? Is it like barely under the surface or is it like down there? The NASA photo that I saw, you can clearly see like dark, huge rock structures like there's video footage of scientists scuba diving and seeing these structures, like clearly man-made structures underwater. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So were the Lemurians star people who came and 
influenced the Homo erectus to help them build a land bridge? Were there actually deities hmm. who lived there? I think I'm convinced because it was so long ago, how would you have known to build a bridge from Madagascar all the way to Lemuria? And how would you have done it without highly intelligent, advanced civilizations guiding you? I don't even know. Are there aliens like in the earth right now? Are they ancient star beings? Were they the first humanoids? Are the Hindu stories of all these lords and deities actually true historical events? Are you in the fifth dimension? We are. I'm Sam Blihar. And I'm Lucy Blihar. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching Conspiracy, Conspiracy Central. Central.